The full spectrum of potentials within yourself and of possibilities for your life extend way beyond the level of awareness that you already have. Numerous types of intelligence, new skills, and gifts unique to you are yet to be developed. New perspectives about yourself and your life, leading to new relationships and opportunities, are yet to be perceived. Ideas and solutions that are indeed innovative for you and your organization are yet to be discovered. Deeper insights about the collective, leading to striking social impacts, are yet to be reviewed. However, how do you access all that without the one-size-fits-all new mindsets that will prove to be the latest fad and will soon come to pass? All these potentials are already present within you, in your unconscious mind, and one level deeper in your pneumatic mind. By accessing and exercising them, you increase your awareness and develop a superior consciousness that sees everything from above and has the power to realize what you envision for your life, career, organization, and the society. I am Cavalier, a consciousness designer. I am the author of the book Paradigm of Sense, a guide to the consciousness of the fifth dimension. This methodology leads to superior consciousness and the power to create the life of your dreams, literally. Professionals achieve top performance and businesses higher results. Above all, it enables you to change the behavior of life towards you. You can find out more about this work on my website, cavalier.com. The link will be in the description. For 24 years, I have been providing people and businesses with techniques to comprehend with clarity and precision what are the mechanisms operating in their unconscious mind and their pneumatic mind, determining concrete consequences in their lives and businesses. This is a series of three videos. In the present video, you will see how very concrete things like your behaviors, relationships, professional skills, your business, clients, and even the economy and politics are strongly influenced by the unconscious mind. In the next two videos, you will see how the unconscious mind operates and how to use its mechanisms to solve problems, develop your awareness, skills, professional performance, and relationships, as well as increase the performance of teams and boost the creativity, innovation, and results of your company. And now, prepare for a ride through the backstage of reality. When people want to disregard the importance or even the reality of something, they say this thing is only psychological, meaning it's nothing. For instance, when you are insecure, afraid, sad, or in pain, people often label your emotions as psychological, implying that they are a complete fantasy, almost made up. Aside from the shocking disrespect for human emotions, what strikes me the most is the use of the word psychological to imply the lack of substance, realism, concreteness. On the opposite side of the spectrum, only material things would be real. Well, whether people like it or not, humans are beings with a mind, with consciousness. As a matter of fact, the things we regard the most are perceptions of the mind, therefore psychological. Your love for your children is psychological. Your love for your partner is psychological. Whatever spiritual beliefs you have are psychological. The value of a given currency is psychological, for it ultimately depends on how much people trust the currency. The same goes for cryptocurrency, stocks, or any other form of investment. The crises, like the 1929 stock market crash or the 2008 house bubble, were only psychological, and they certainly had psychological consequences. Negotiations are all about trust. Elections are all about trust. If you still think that the human mind has no impact on money, ask the professionals responsible for marketing in your company. People almost never buy things or hire services after a conscious, rational analysis strictly based on facts. That's why you don't see graphs or spreadsheets on commercials, but images and words aimed at people's emotions and instincts. 
Problems in companies are rarely related to technical knowledge. Usually physicians know medicine and lawyers know law. However, regardless of how deep their knowledge is, professionals often engage in power struggles, aggressive behaviors, treason, lies, stealing ideas, or even smaller things like irresponsible behaviors or laziness. Companies hire for skills, but fire for behavior. On the other hand, eight out of the top 10 soft skills of 2025, according to the World Economic Forum, are literally abilities of the mind. Your family, your marriage, your spirituality, money, professional performance, negotiations, marketing, sales, investment, the economy, politics, and social causes are all perceived by your mind, and only through your mind can you interact with them. Reality is, in fact, entirely psychological. Let's work with simple definitions for consciousness and the unconscious mind here. Everything you do know is a part of your consciousness. Everything you do not know is a part of your unconscious mind. The problem is that the things you do not know have a greater impact over your life and your business than the things you do know. For instance, my knowledge on how the New York stock market operates is extremely limited. I am mostly unconscious of the New York stock market. Should it crash, however, like it did in 1929, the impact over me would be immense. I can be even more down to earth and bring you a shameful example. I took years to understand that not looking at my bank statement for months could have a negative impact over my finances. Numerous artists whose consciousness I developed initially thought they had no talent and suffered for it, when in fact, they simply had no marketing. An entrepreneur could not understand that telling potential buyers all her sorrows during negotiations was leading to not closing deals. A whole board of directors of a company whose collective consciousness I developed could not see that each one of them was much more concerned with proving that all the other directors were wrong than committed to decision-making and the company's financial results. Imagine the infinite number of hours spent in useless meetings. If the things you do not know, the things you are unconscious of, have such a determinant and concrete impact on your finances, your professional performance, your business, and your relationships, you can no longer believe that the unconscious mind is a subjective, ethereal thing that only gifted people can understand. The unconscious mind is, in fact, a material thing. The few people who know about the existence of the unconscious mind tend to see it as a no-drawer, where they dump things they would like to forget forever, but can't throw away. According to this view, the unconscious mind would simply be passive and not really do anything. As a matter of fact, the unconscious is an extremely powerful, active force capable of creating concrete situations in your life. The easiest way to understand this is to explore a little the idea of projection. Have you noticed that people tend to always attract the same kind of people to their lives? This is very clear in love relationships. You always attract partners with a dismissive behavior or an aggressive one or a weak one. Or maybe all of your partners depend on your financial support. That's why it is so common to hear things like all men are the same or all women are the same. But the same thing also happens in other areas of life, like the work environment. You could be attracting unreliable associates, naive employees, or abusive bosses. Whatever the case, you are always attracting the same kind of people. Are you that unlucky? What are the odds? This has nothing to do with luck or chance. By the way, luck and destiny are psychotechnologies that can be mastered. The unconscious mind is an active force causing this phenomenon to happen. It will continue to do so until you learn what you gotta learn with these people. It is not only about people, though. The repeating pattern could be a situation. 
For example, you attract a lot of potential clients who really like your work but never have enough money to pay you. Or your employees keep having one problem after another. Or regardless of how much money you make, you always have to spend the same amount. Again, the unconscious mind is an active force causing this phenomenon to happen. These situations will happen endlessly until you learn their inherent lesson. Even your behaviors can be irrationally driven by the unconscious. You simply can't commit to women or to men. You can't speak in public. You can't focus. You can't have any ideas. Attention to this last one. More about that in a moment. Should it be the same kind of people, the same kind of situations, or your own behaviors? Whenever something keeps repeating and you do not know the cause, that's evidence of the activity of the unconscious mind. Whenever you lose control over your life, relationships, or business, that's evidence of the activity of the unconscious mind. After all, how would you be able to control a force that you do not know and are unconscious of? The last thing the unconscious mind is, is a no drawer. As a matter of fact, it is the active force causing almost all the concrete facts in your life, your relationships, the situations you experience, and your own behaviors. When you realize that the forces inside yourself have almost complete control over your external life, you understand that what you call reality is the reflection of your consciousness in your unconscious mind. Reality is psychological. The unconscious mind is a material thing. When all you can see is the external reality, you are only seeing the final stages of a process whose existence you were unaware of, unconscious of. This is like believing that the characters of a movie emerge directly on the screen, ignoring the existence of the actresses, actors, directors, authors, and so many other professionals, all their work and all their lives. If you want to really change something in the movie, however, attempting to change the movie screen is pointless. You will have to speak to the author, the director, the actresses, and the actors. The unconscious is the backstage out of which reality emerges. Consequences are astounding. All of a sudden, you realize that your life is the exact reflection of your inner life. All of a sudden, you realize that your business is the exact reflection of your inner life. You can see the unconscious mind operating in your life concretely. Just look around. Do you want to master the situations that keep repeating in your life? out of control? Do you want to transform them into super positive things like new relationships, new intelligences, new skills, unique gifts, acknowledged leadership, ideas, and true innovation? Quit trying to change the movie screen, the consequences. Focus on the causes. Speak directly to the author of your reality, the unconscious mind.